since about half two making my way up to where we are now you join me uh, by um, just south of Carlisle on the M6 uh, I had to pull over well I didn't have to but I pulled over and had a 45 minute break and completely reset my drive time two reasons. One, I was feeling tired, so better to be safe and pull over. Second reason was I wouldn't have made it all the way to Iceland, Livingston in my four and a half hours drive, so I was going to have to stop anyway. Um, so I thought I'd just stop and reset it there. Got about two and a half hours left until I get there. past five in the morning so it's not too bad not too bad at all as you may be able to tell the weather um, yeah it's it's definitely changed uh, it was raining on the way up here earlier and it from the look of the windscreen now it's starting to rain again but never mind, we needed some rain, we need some water. Um, so, yeah. I shall uh, get on with it. There might be some uh, nice views, there might not. Depends on uh, how the weather is, but we shall push on up to uh, Iceland Livingston. And, um, yeah. I'll catch you a bit closer to there. Before I forget as well, um, I want to say hello to Jackie. Um, your husband and partner uh, sent me a message the other day um, saying that you always watch my videos um, and you love watching them and that recently you both had a bit of a bad time um, so I'm sorry to obviously hear about that um, I'm glad you are both well though now and I'm glad you enjoy watching the videos so um, yes I thought I'd give you a, uh, a shout out and say uh, a big hello to you and um, I hope you keep enjoying the videos and um, I hope everything stays good for the pair of you and, uh, and um, uh, things keep getting better so uh, thank you very much for watching and um, yeah I hope you enjoy the uh, video and hopefully we get some uh, 
nice views as we get a bit further up into Scotland. Um, I know this route can give some nice views, so hopefully the views are uh, quite nice and spectacular for you today. So yeah, and um, I shall get on with it now. Um, I shall get us further up into Scotland and uh, get to Livingston. Hopefully we. Uh, the weather doesn't turn too bad so that we can still get some good footage and some nice views um, but if it does turn bad well it's just one of those isn't it we'll just keep videoing um, we just won't have the uh, spectacular and amazing views that we can get up here further to go. Uh, it's been a good journey up. Uh, it's just coming up to eight o'clock so not too bad at all for time wise. Um, we left at half two so it's not too bad. We stopped for 45 minutes as well so um, but yeah been all right the weather's not been too bad it's not been glorious sunshine like it's been all week but it's uh it's not been heavy torrential rain so it's a bit cooler though it's only uh 14 degrees today up here um so yeah it's a little bit cooler but it's nice it's still it's still not like freezing but it's bearable so I bet these lights change before I get there yep there's a surprise these lights are like you only ever get like one wagon and one car through these lights so it's not too far it's literally straight over at this roundabout, take the decks left and then it's down on the industrial estate down there so won't take us too long to get there now oh. try and not get any wheel slippage with it being a uh, damp on the ground so it'll be greasy we 
didn't get any, so it's all good. It's all good. Oh, pretty heavy. I do apologise about the bouncing. Um, the road's a bit bumpy. And uh, obviously my uh, phone mount's not really the best. I'm still to find one that won't bounce around as much. Um, I have been looking, don't worry I've not forgotten. I am looking to try and find one and once I sort myself out with a laptop it'll be alright, I'll be able to start uh, filming the Go, using the GoPros and uploading those during the week. Um, it's just obviously I don't want to just film with the GoPros at the moment because you won't get any footage uploaded for a week because obviously I'll have to edit it and stuff when I get at home and I don't mind doing are you really planning on coming down here yeah you were I thought you were um, I don't mind obviously having to edit like one video when I'm at home on my days off but I don't really want to be doing a week's worth of videos so unfortunately we will be sticking with the phone for a bit until I get a laptop and then like I say I can edit while I'm out on the road so it'll uh, be a bit better um, we'll be here for ages through these lights so uh, I'll cut this bit out Eventually, through the roadworks. It takes ages to get through these lights. But, never mind, we're through them now. forward to getting out and stretching me legs I know that much for certain it's quite quiet round here this morning it's normally uh, a lot busier than this down here especially for a Monday morning as well Thank you very much mate. Oh, potholes everywhere. Oh dear me. So uh, we're nearly here now, we just go left and then we turn left again. shall uh, get booked in, get this dealt with, get the trailer swap done and then I shall bring you back once I've done all that and I'm leaving. Right, that's it, that's Iceland at Livingston done. Uh, it's just coming up to 20 to 11. Um, so I was in there a fair old while. I had to get the trailer I had on um, I had to have that emptied and then I had to wait for the same trailer to be reloaded again because uh, I've got Macro at Washington on board. Just get around this corner. Yeah, so I've been reloaded with Macro Washington. It's ambient and it is all drinks so it's heavy very very heavy um, so yeah it's gonna be a 
slow going on any of the hills, I know that much, and pulling out is definitely going to be slow from a standing start. So obviously just got to bear that in mind now, but obviously I need a bigger gap to get out at junctions and roundabouts because of the weight, and I also need to slow down a lot sooner because of the weight it will push me on once again. Um, so it's a nice easy run back, it's a case of going along the M8, skirting around the edge of Edinburgh, getting on the A1 and just continuing south all the way on the A1. So I shall crack on, get a little bit further on and uh, I shall catch you in a bit. A1 now. Um, at Washington. It's been a good journey. The weather's been absolutely horrible. It's got slowly worse the closer we've got to Washington. We've just driven through a massive heavy downpour. Um, so yeah, I mean don't get me wrong, we needed the rain, but yeah it's not particularly uh, appealing weather. So, thankfully, it's just uh, open the trailer doors and reverse onto a bay job. I didn't want to get wet. Um, it's just making the roads pretty slippy. And obviously everybody's driving a lot slower because they're being more careful, which is fair enough. But yeah, like I say, the roads are uh, a little bit greasy been dry for so long and we've just had this real heavy downpour um, so it's been wagons been struggling to uh, pull off from station repositions but we're nearly there now it's uh, just off at the next exit and then it's there so uh, it's been a good good trip down um, I will more than likely, in fact I will, I will end the video uh, when I get to the delivery point um, because there's no point recording the short little five minute journey from here back to our yard so uh, obviously once I get here I will end the video at 
here. But, um, come on, truck. Come on, stop, 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 stop. Ooh. Yeah, so, um, thank you very much for watching. Um, I know it's not been extremely riveting. Um, and I don't know how good the footage will be with the way the weather's been. But thank you very much for watching. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing tomorrow yet, but I'm sure I will uh, record tomorrow. So um, it's just here on the right, but I have to go around the back. So yeah, so thank you for watching. Um, a big welcome to all the new subscribers. I keep getting loads of notifications, which is good. And I shall um, catch you all in the next video. So, uh, ta for now.